Happy Monday morning, everyone. We are on our way to do barn work. That is the sound of a wild Bridget. She's one of last year's little goats. I always wanted a screaming goat. Now I have one. So today is Monday morning, January 2nd. And it's a muddy one. So I'm gonna leave the horses inside. Oh, Harley. Can you run up and get his bottle above the water heater? Sorry. I forgot his bottle. We have him. He's a month old now. Look at him. He's waiting for it. He's a month old now. And we have his bottle scheduled down to one bottle every other day. Calf milk replacers. Pricey. So when you can get them on to calf creep feed, that's good. Hi, yo, Mr. Tony. I'm hungry. So it's a muddy, disgusting mess outside. Um, it's not gonna get any better today. I think it's gonna rain even more. And we, uh, last year was really rainy at the beginning and then it didn't rain ever again. So we had a, a problem with rain rot with the horses. Rain rot's like a fungus. Um, it causes like little scabs on their back and it's due to moisture. Um, humidity specifically getting wet so we got rid of it and we decided anytime it's really gross outside we're just keeping them in so I'm gonna go about and clean all the stalls and leave them in when we leave them in we clean their stalls twice a day just so they're not in anything disgusting and uh, yeah. and looky here little man and mama are doing well Last night, Vanilla ate her sweet feed for the first time since giving birth, so that's a win, and I'm really excited about that. Monday morning usually isn't super exciting. <laughs> usually we get all of our really exciting, exciting? I don't know if that's the word. We get all of our big activities done over the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So the weekdays are usually kind of mundane. You'll get a little bit of all the same but oh. all right we're gonna put you guys on a time lapse real quick and we are going to feed everybody and then clean the stalls so we'll be back with you Okay, we've done all the morning barn work. It's not too exciting. It's pretty simple. Say we have a lamb. A little lamb is super cute. We've taken to calling him Pirate because he has a little X on his face. X marks his spot. Pirate booty. So he's Pirate for now. Um, he will be looking for his forever home probably. Uh, we also have a little boar pig looking for his forever home. Who know? He'd be a nice breeder for somebody. But this concludes Monday morning barn work. I'll check back with you later. Well, welcome to Tuesday. I was worried my mud was going to dehydrate. This is the current status of the establishment. <laughs> there was gravel here. Fun fact. Um, we had gravel here. We just put it in last year. And uh, with our lovely clay in western Pennsylvania, which is all this is, it just sucks it right up. You put, I don't care how much you put down, it's going to suck it up when you have, you know, a lot of traffic, animal traffic and vehicle traffic. So, yeah. 
But in here, everybody's happy, aren't we, Tony? Good morning, buddy. Get your tongue out. Yeah. <laughs> and these two. Vanilla is doing wonderful. She's been off of her meds for a full 24 hours now. And she's continuing to improve just fine. And you can see Little Man's doing great as well. The Goaty Goats. And the horses, well, <clears throat> they're probably over being inside, aren't you guys? Yeah, aren't you? You're over being inside. Good morning, Athena. Good morning, Teeny. Oh, yes, you're such a cute girl. You ain't go outside, don't you? You're not going today. Good morning, bubs. Yeah. You're gross. <laughs> and now, I'll open up the back door so that Chase can get to the quail when he gets down here. Yeah, look at that. The pen dot head came out to fix our road. And they asked if they could dump dirt, which we agreed to. Um, so they came out and they graded it. And, well, so they could get their dump trucks in. You can see it's just, it's all red. It's all clay. We need to get some really big gravel brought in. We can't even pile up the manure pile. So this is the manure pile here. We have some ashes in there from the burn barrel. It's all we burn is paper. So we put the ashes in the manure pile and we mix that. We mix in some wood chips too. And then we, it breaks down into a beautiful compost. But we can't get the skid steer back there right now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean the stalls and we'll catch up with you. Hi guys, it's Tuesday evening. I decided I was gonna sit down and do something a little different. Um, gonna have a chat with you inside the house tonight since it's rainy and disgusting outside. Nobody wants to go out there and do anything. So we already had dinner and uh, we're gonna head back down to the barn here in just a bit to do evening chores. But I decided I was gonna sit down and have a little chat with you guys with a cup of coffee. Um, so everybody knows, or maybe not everybody knows, but avid gardeners know that this is the time of year that we all start to look through the seed catalogs and we start to figure out what we want to grow for the year um, and we plan out our garden spaces um, and it's just a lot of fun. So I want to encourage people to start a garden and I will be the first one to tell you that I was a terrible gardener. Um, I tried to plant gardens and I failed miserably. Um, I lost control due to weeds. Um, I didn't keep up with watering. Uh, yeah, it never worked out for me very well. Um, and I remember my, my grandparents on both sides having beautiful gardens uh, and just so luscious and vibrant. And I just didn't think I had it in me. I didn't think I had the green thumb that everybody talks about. Um, and then in 2020, things changed. Uh, we have four kids and, you know, as everybody knows, in 2020, things weren't readily available when you wanted them. Uh, it was sometimes difficult to find and the prices of everything were starting to go up. So I decided I was going to go all in and I was going to plant a garden. Um, everybody in my family kind of chuckled because they know my history with gardening wasn't good, but I was convinced that I could do it. And I watched a lot of YouTube videos and I started to learn what my mistakes were and I successfully grew a really beautiful garden. It wasn't huge, but it was a beautiful garden. So 2021 came around and I grew that garden even bigger. And last year in 2022, I was actually doing good enough that I could set up at farmer's markets and sell my produce and it was just it was really, really cool. The growth and the knowledge that I have acquired in the past few years is 
unlimited. I mean, it's ex exponential. Um, and the, the learning that I still have to do is unlimited. But I really want to encourage people that think that they don't have a green thumb to just do it. You can do it. You can find YouTube videos to help you. And if you are encouraged and you really believe, you know, you really try and you put yourself out there, you can do it. So what I want to do is I am trying to grow this channel and in order to do so, I'm going to do a giveaway. But doing this giveaway, I'm hopeful that I can help somebody else start growing a garden or somebody that is a gardener grow a beautiful garden. I was very lucky and very blessed last year. A friend of mine said, hey, um, this company I work for, they're getting out of their seeds. Um, there, if you're interested, go check out the website. And I was able to get my hands on a considerable amount of seeds for a wonderful price. So what I want to do is I want to pay it forward. Um, if we get to 100 subscribers, which isn't that many, we're already at 49, so we're climbing up there relatively quick. I'm going to give away 24 packs of seeds. And I'm going to show you what those seeds are right now. And hopefully this will give you guys some encouragement. Now these are just your run-of-the-mill seeds that you can get at any, gro at any store, um, any hardware store, even the grocery store. These are not heirloom. They're not any special seeds, but they are going to give you plenty of food if you plant them. So here we go. Um, I'm going to start off with the tomatoes. Um, we have a packet of beefsteak tomatoes and some large cherry tomatoes. So you got some for your sandwiches and some for your salads. Uh, in the brassica family, we have cauliflower, broccoli, and cabbage. So you're getting a full unopened package of all of these. You're going to get some bush beans because not everybody has a place to grow those climbing ones. So package of bush beans. Peppers. You're going to get jalapenos. A beautiful rainbow mix of bell peppers. Who doesn't love a little color in their food? Sweet banana peppers. And your uh, California Wonder Bells, which, fun fact, is just one of the best bells you can, you can grow. Heirloom or not, they're just, they're one of the best bang for the buck. Okay, beets. Pickled beets. Who doesn't love those? Um, radishes, which are very quick. So you'll be able to sow these early. And... Uh, Let's see here, 20 to 30 days to harvest. So in like a month's time, you'll be able to harvest your food, which is wonderful. Um, we got some half long carrots, pretty universally good. Some beautiful eggplants, some sugar baby watermelons, dark green zucchinis, butternut squash, acorn squash, pumpkin, and cantaloupe. We're not done yet. <laughs> Getting there though. Okay, we're gonna have some greens, so we'll have some spinach and some lettuce. It's super easy. The lettuce is 40 to 60 days to germination, so a month and a half. Same with the spinach, 40 to 45 days, a month and a half. We'll be able to plant those if the weather cooperates, probably end of April, so you'll already be able to start getting some food by May, June, which is just so much fun. Um, cucumbers. So there's two different kinds of cu cucumbers, and this rounds it out. These are the um, 23 and 24. Pickling cucumbers and your munchers, because you know, that way you'll have some for your salad, and you'll have some to be able to put in your, um, make pickles to can with. So what I need you guys to do to get all these seeds is super simple. Just comment on this video. Make sure you're subscribed because I'll be able to check. And I'm also going to leave the link to our website. You can go there and you can sign up for our email, um, which the email just lets you know when we have things added to the store um, and just kind of gives you an update of what's going on. Um, I'm going to try to be really good about that email this year. So making sure that I have people subscribe to it will keep me accountable and I'll really appreciate it. So yeah, basically that's what we're going to do. And of course I am going to post my gardening journey for you guys. 
that way you're able to follow along with me if you want to and um, see how we do it. This year I'm planning a bigger market garden. Um, I've learned what works for me, what doesn't work for me, what I'm good at growing, what I suck at growing. <laughs> so um, it's just been such a super fun journey and I'm really excited to be able to share this with you guys. I'm excited to show you how to do these things as naturally as possible. We don't use any chemicals. We only use organic things. Um, we are not certified organic because we didn't we didn't find it financially beneficial to spend the money to get the very, very pricey um, certifications um, to go through all the rigorous tests. We know what we do here and I'll be able to show you guys as well. Um, so I've had a lot of people ask me if our vegetables or I get are organic. We cannot say they are, but they're grown organically. Um, yeah, and so I just want to be able to show you guys this journey and have you come along with me um, and really encourage you guys. Um, so many people have commented on my Facebook that I've encouraged them to do things and that just, it, it blows me away really. Um, I just am a girl that likes to post things on Facebook and I never realized how many people that it would um, really reach. So I'm grateful for that and I feel very called to do what I'm doing right now. So again, I just really appreciate all you guys. If you can like, share, subscribe, comment down below and um, check out the link for the email list sign up on our website, which I will leave the link in the description down below. Um, I hope you guys have a great night. This will be Wednesday when you see this, and I will give these away when we reach that 100 subscriber mark. So hurry up and share and like, and we will talk to you guys really soon. Have a great night. Bye.